Hello, all you Axonellers! Since you've all been naughty, time again for Season 7, the Axonellers Global 40 out of the box version. These are the players, the Axis, and, and the Allies. Big deal. <laughs> well, we just completed four rounds of, of dice destruction. Yay! <laughs> Oh boy, a lot unexpected happened in this round. <laughs> You'll see what I mean later. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I had to mention Corporal Collector had to drop out for the Anzacs because he had some so important, uh, commendable work to do. And I'm not at liberty to say it, but it's very commendable and we all understand what, what he has to do in these trying times. Good for you, Carpal Collect. Hope you join us real soon. And be safe and keep healthy. Uh, well, uh, as, you, as you see, I got something new for the No Limits the tabletop for my map. As you see, lighting all around. Yay, look at that. Ooh, right there, too. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> Shelly Stitch! <laughs> You're Shelly's. Well, I went to. I got this. Some uh, tape light with remote. Oh, it's cool. Because I was getting sick of the shadows on the corners of my map while I'm doing my YouTube games. Yeah, let's see. I got. Right now, it's at the lowest setting at 5%. And let's, let's see what 10% looks like. 25%? 50% oh, and a hundred percent oh oh baby yeah let's get let's go back to five because it's, it's a little too much but five five percent is good for YouTube I'd say and I think it's cool it didn't, really wasn't that expensive so I had to treat myself I, I thought I think it looks good and it doesn't burn though the wood either because the lightings are the lightings are outside not the inside and it's and it's taping on, on the back side so I just taped it all around looks pretty cool I got inspired by um let's see who, what's his face Lieutenant Diane his videos he has a uh, mood lighting around his map too so it inspired me so I had to do I had to do it myself <laughs> I think it, it's cool don't you well anyway let's see what uh Germany has done for round four well Took the Baltic states, even took the Netsha, yeah, but as you see, Crockett 36 took it back. <laughs> Fell in my trap though. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else I did. I got uh, Belarus, of course, and of course, and bought some more aircraft still. There's a reason for that. <laughs> and I took out, it's, uh, that Soviet cruiser at last in that seas on there. <laughs> a little damage to myself. And landing. And I took out that uh Best Arabia Air Force. Out of their misery, out of our misery too. As you see, I I took it over. <laughs> and this is this is what he lost. He lost a couple of planes and a man out of that out of that baby. <laughs> oh baby. I was glad to do it. Yeah, but this is the casualties mine. I got about three, about five casualties in my grounders there. And it just, 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 he's just chipping away. Crockett 36 is at my, at my, uh, my grounders as I headed towards Moscow. <laughs> yeah, so that's why, I did. let's see what Crockett 36 did. Well, he finally broke the not aggression pact in Korea. But of course, Japan took that over back. Easily. He took the Nesha bat with those three those three tanks. Like I say, he's gonna he's gonna follow my trap though. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm gonna attack it. Next next round. <laughs> and of course <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> he backs off. No, you won't go stay in Bryansk or Spelanx. Oh no. He he'll stay over, he'll stay right there like a baby he is. Like the chicken he is. Pick, pick, pick up. <laughs> Wish he had those two truths back from Tomek. Termex, Termexan, 
could have really helped him there, but as you see, he's getting help from his ally, the chicken is. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, so he had to build a couple of fighters for him to rebuild his air force. I won't I wouldn't bomb it with my with my air with my bombers, that little chicken. <laughs> yeah, so uh that's what he did. Hmm. Still on the Manchurian border. Yeah, let's just see how long though. That's what uh, Crockett did. Let's see who who else is who said the warden, Japan. Da -da 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 -da. Well, it was a quite a big battle, unexpected too, in Burma. You know the British took it back, but oh, they destroyed a lot in Burma. Oh, more on that later. And they took they took the sea zone of Sumatra back. From the from the Anzacs, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else. Uh, it took Quang Tong and the Philippines, they even French and China. La 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 la. The rest of rest of China. Very good warden. Yeah. So he set himself up for for the next attack. Uh, let me see what he lo was lost in Burma. Well, let's see how. Uh, Closer, uh, so what Japan lost, they lost what? Uh, and not named troops they lost uh, six artilleries and two weeks of fighters and dive bombers. And from other battles, they lost that right there. And this is what the British lost. The British lost, <laughs> they lost 19 infantry, two AA guns. Let's see, uh, even the Flying Tiger was uh, blowing up his real good as well. Let's see, let's see what the British lost. It lost about what three, two, four, six. I think I lost six more aircrafts for the British. For the total, of seven aircrafts lost in there against those uh, losses right there. So they lost more than uh, the Warden did. <laughs> Very good, Emperor. And of course, that's what the Anzac lost. And that's, that's the rest. The rest of the Chinese are no more. They're off the map. <laughs> They've been genocided. Courtesy of their allies who wouldn't help them the whole, the whole game in four rounds. Not at all. <laughs> Yay. And of course the French lost the crew. Uh, lost um, a blocker in that sea zone there off of Burma. And this is the rest with the uh, Cracker 36 loss. He lost a lot. Oh, my goodness. A lot. Even when he took over uh, Korea, he had to get uh, convoyed too. He lost, so he lost three in that one too. Oh, so if you second place in the lossage, <laughs> IPC lossage in their units, <laughs> very good. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You know, that's who that's a, who's after Warden. Um, for Japan. Oh, Dutch Lancaster. Oh. Well, he lost his Philippines, so he lost a couple of infantry there. But he did some, something uh, kind of head scratching. He took over Spain. Oh, very easily, but uh, I, I say it's a desperate move. <laughs> I'm laughing at the superior intellect. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he did that. I think it's a desperate move, to tell you the truth. He only lost a couple of infantry there. Took it handedly. <laughs> Also took over Gibraltar as well. Finally coming into the war, as well as Japan against the West. Yeah, let's see what else. Uh, he's uh, integrating into the Pacific there. Yeah, let's see, they got a few bombers built there. A couple of, a couple of aircrafts he's violating <laughs> Soviet sovereignty. Very, very blatantly. Well, I put his bomber there. I wonder where they're going. The Chickenville, I think. <laughs> well, to not to you, Dutch. <laughs> oh boy, my goodness. And of course, nothing to say about China. So yeah, fast. <laughs> yeah, quicker turn about China. Weighing him down. <laughs> and answer him. Let's see, Rosak. That's what he did. Well, I guess. Coming from from orders from Washington, all those strings pulled. 
<laughs> behind this Prozac's back. He went into Turkey. <laughs> oh, as you see, there's nothing in Turkey. Absolutely nothing in Turkey. But the Turks defended well. <laughs> Blatantly violating neutrality as well as Soviet Soviet air and land space. Oh, they have no disregard. They have no regard for the rest of the world. Only themselves. Well, how selfish of you. Well, Prozac. Yeah, he lost everything coming to Turkey. You know, Turks lost everything too. So that's bare. Living his navy there, really bare in, <laughs> in the med. Mm. I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't put that navy in the med. I mean, it does. Take away Italy's N.O. for a couple of turns. But not worth it. Ten IPCs away from the Italians. And you're going to be losing all that. Because I'm coming in. With all my Luftwaffe. Let's see what he, uh, Prozac lost. Well, he lost in the Battle of Turkey. He lost two each of mechs, infantry, and artillery. Yeah, yeah, bad roll there. <laughs> Of course, the, the Axis powers had got wind of it, so they, they rushed in uh, some supplies to help the Turks out. <laughs> good for, good for us. And the baby, yeah, the baby, <laughs> the baby, the baby builds up his uh, Royal Air Force along with the the Anzacs. I wonder where they're going. Same, same place as America's. Further violating neutrality. He even put a couple of units in Moscow as well. Other disregard for the Soviets, their so-called allies. Are you proud of 36, Crockett 36? I don't think so. I, I wouldn't be. I'd say, keep off. I'll battle like a, because I'm brave. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, so. Yeah, leaving India pretty bare. <laughs> let's see what the, like I said, Cobra Clay couldn't do his turn. But he's, he's with us in spirit, so Prozac. Did for him, and he bought some shipping, even a bomber for the Anzacs. Ugh, that's something. Even taking his, instead of defending India, he puts his fighter in Persia. He can't defend nothing there. <laughs> I wonder why he put it there. I think because the big baby is going to, going to Moscow. Yeah! <laughs> what the big baby? You might as well put on diapers and poop in your paws. Because that's what babies do. <laughs> My baby, yeah. <laughs> yeah let's see. So that's, that's all that's been done. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Can't forget my war pig. Forgot him last, last time. What? He just uh, reshifted his, reshifted his, uh, his forces. But he did take over both the, both the Ukraines because he's brave. He's going further into... Towards the Middle East because he he's brave and because he can. <laughs> Why well, he's for cons consolidating his Libyan forces and tightening up his defenses in North and South Italy. Yeah, good for you. Hey, <laughs> heck, he even uh, this successful uh, run against uh, that convoy was convoying off his Greece. <laughs> Got absolutely nothing for the British. <laughs> Whereas let's see, what's his face? And they got they got they got countered they got countered with the convoy there they lost four <laughs> well, good for them so that's a, that's, a, that's about it uh, the more I can say is if I'm going like as usual I've been doing this game I'm gonna do my combat modes for Germany that's right as I'm going to 14 minutes on this thing all right so if uh, 49 to spend on a spun 48 of it, saving one. And I spent on four bombers. That's right, four bombers. <laughs> to clear four attacks in around five non combat areas. So, let's see. What am I going to do here? Well, in ballet, as you see right there in the net, yeah. Okay, good. All right, well, this transport, season 127, it's gonna go back to 126, 
pick up that transport. Let me pick up that artillery from Norway. And on the way, he's going to pick up a man from Karelia. Gonna land him in that nut Gets three tanks. But that's not all. From Germany, the West Germany, that is, off its air base. I'm gonna go uh, five moves. One, two, three, four, four. And we'll have two left in his gas tank. Going to nutshell. And also, from uh, Romania, four spaces, his bombers can go. One, two, three, four, four. And we also have two left in his gas tank as well. Uh, this is us ballet. So in uh, Battle B, in Leningrad, a bear Leningrad, of course. He just abandoned it. So what I'm gonna do these two remaining infantry from Korea. He's gonna go walk into there. <laughs> and I should have done this better. And two from Viborg. I'm going there as well. <laughs> Don't. Should have been better prepared for there. So, four infantry takes it over. And yeah, so that's battle B. Battle C. And Briance, I'm going to blitz all my tanks through Briance. Through Smolensk. Into Briance. <laughs> Well, from Belarus, and of course, all my infantry. Was, uh, 22 infantry is going to Briance. <laughs> my 11 artilleries. And from Baltic states, I got what? I believe we got eight tanks. He's going in there as well. And he's two mechs as well. Through Belarus into Briance. Yeah! Go, go, go against that. Go! Oh. Go against that one long troop in Bryansk. And the Big Mama! Yes, the Big Mama. Battle day! Season 99, I believe, off of Turkey, Turkey's coast. They got that British Royal Navy there. Think about what? Few destroyer, the battleship, a cruiser, and a couple of uh, transports. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack that baby. <laughs> so, from Romania, I got two uh, dive bombers. Got two spaces, one, two, and two fighters. And then going, going there, and from the off the air base in Rome. I think about, uh, I got three dive bombers, one, two, going there as well. Sea Zone 99 as well as a, as a fighter. Well, that's not all. From France, off its air base. It's going to go, what, I think four, three spaces. Mm. Two, three, and these, this bomber. I can say, oh, let's see, I think I got two, I got three f fighters coming from France, going three spaces. One, two, three, and as well as a dive bomber. And so basically all, all my air fair force is going into season 99, yeah! D for destruction for the Royal Navy there. Uh. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm going 19 minutes on here, and that's it. I think it's all. That's all the battles, isn't it? A, B, C, D. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna shut up and end this recap and go go to see. round five for Germany's turn. Next, up next, subscribe to these folks if you haven't already. And at the end, I'll of course I'll put down my in the, uh, the comment section of my video of this video recap video. Put down the, all the the units lost in round four and their IPC values. And I'm gonna shut up and get to round five. Get ready for round five. So no living out.